weighed down by the worthiness of its intentions, The Promise is a big, barren wartime romance that approaches the Armenian genocide with too much calculation and not nearly enough heat. And indeed, The Promise is a sprawling and handsome epic set around the extermination of 1.5 million Armenians in Ottoman Turkey. But despite the best of intentions, the film fails to properly explain and contextualize both what led to that disgraceful episode, which Turkey to this day denies, and why it escalated as it did. Instead, The Promise chooses to focus in on an unsympathetic love triangle that manages to trivialize the film overall. It can happen all too easily. An otherwise highly competent director, in this case, Terry George, succumbs to the lure of addressing a real-life atrocity, here, the still-contested slaughter of more than a million peaceful Armenians by the Ottoman Empire during World War I. Somewhere along the way, though, the need to do justice to the slain and call out the perpetrators becomes a pillow that smothers every spark of originality. Even actors with the heft of Oscar Isaac and Christian Bale, playing an Armenian apothecary named Mikhail and an American war reporter named Chris, appear muffled and indistinct. This dimming extends to an excruciatingly corny plot that has both characters vie for the twinkling affections of Anna, Charlotte Le Bon, a Paris educated, terminally cute tutor. But first Mikhail must finagle a dowry to finance medical school in Constantinople, so he promises to marry Meryl, Angela Serafian, a lovely innocent from his village. Once in the grip of the city and Anna's charms, however, Mikhail is lost, the combined demands of a soggy love triangle and the approach of war soon banish all thoughts of marriage, to Meryl, at least. While Michael is enjoying the city life and lusting after Anna, though, things are devolving around him. It's 1914 and vague signs of war are emerging. Things go on as normal for a little while, there are German soldiers at the parties now and battleships in the harbor and a heightened sense that some Turks are anti-Armenian. And then Constantinople's Armenian intellectuals start getting arrested and taken away. To where is unclear. To fight? To prison camps? To be executed? It's unfair to critique such an utterly sincere film that does contain some riveting action and acting and even might inspire some to learn more about this moment in history, but unfortunately, the story just doesn't live up to its grand ambitions.